Tonight, there is new hope as the Moderna vaccine starts its process of distribution around the country. The vaccine is the latest authorized by use by the FDA. It's recommended for those 18 and older. Doctors around the country say this is coming at a crucial time in the fight against COVID-19. Right now, more than 316,000 Americans have died due to the virus. According to an internal health and human services memo obtained by ABC News, right now, 32% of the nation's ICUs are at least least 80 percent full as more than 114,000 Americans battle COVID in the hospital. So it's 95 percent effective, um, as much as 100 percent effective at preventing severe disease. And this is the way we end the pandemic, by getting 70 or 80 percent of the American people vaccinated. Yesterday, the head of Operation Warp Speed, General Gus Perna, says the country is on track to ship 20 million doses of the vaccine by the end of December. As for when the Moderna vaccine will arrive in southeast Texas, we've not gotten an exact date yet. We asked the Texas Department of State Health Services on a date. They replied with this statement. The state of Texas is not in control of the shipping schedule. We, we tell our federal partners where to send the vaccine and they ship it out. Next week's allocation will be to more than 1,000 providers, so it's unlikely they'll all arrive on the same day. Even though an exact date for the Moderna vaccine has not been set for Southeast Texas, here's what we do know. Texas is set to receive 460,000 doses and they'll start arriving this week. According to Moderna allocation list from the DSHS, Jefferson County is expected to receive 1,900 vaccines. Hardin and Jasper County can expect 800 each. Newton County will get 100 and Orange County will get 200. Experts call the Moderna vaccine a game changer because it's easier to store and handle than and the Pfizer vaccine. People areas like Jasper County, we're really looking forward to that. Not all distribution locations will be hospitals. Some of these locations include HEBs, Brookshire Brothers, and even Market Basket Pharmacies. But not just anyone can get the vaccine. This round will go to healthcare workers. An eight, uh, excuse me, a CDC advisory committee saying that it's going to be broken down in two phases, phase 1B and phase 1C. Those in 1B include people ages 75 and older and frontline essential workers such as first responders, educators, and grocery store workers. Approximately 49 million people will be included in this phase. And as for 1C, it includes those between the ages of 65 and 74 and other essential workers, including those in the food service. It will will also include anyone ages 16 and older who have high risk medical conditions. The CDC says phase 1C will cover an estimated 129 million Americans.